Okay. Take off the blindfold. Thank you. Let's talk about the time Luke became a man. Please we allow. On, we were on a, a set and a, a PA or a, an assistant stepped on a, a gerbil outside and it was dying and she came in crying saying, I stepped on a gerbil. But and it's, it's not suffering dead. outside. And this was Kirby's set, so I was just sitting there and I was like, oh my goodness. So I had to go out and um, I had to step on the gerbil to put off its misery. Okay. All right. Come here. Sit on my, my knee. Okay. Thank you for making me feel like I'm living in one of my favorite Nicholas Sparks books. Every day I always feel inspired and romantic. You're a real life queen and I never imagined finding something straight out of a movie. You give me a reason and purpose to ride a white horse and buy you the flower shop because a single rose could never do. August. Zoo for my birthday. Vegas Luke. Hans, Hans clock. clock! That's so funny. Go to where they have a sign in which you racked up quite a fine. You're always running from the law to reach out a helping hand to pause. Where I feed the squirrels off the bluffs and it's illegal. All right. Oh, wait. A rose! Oh, there's a magician in Vegas that looks like the grown up version of Luke and it's so Wish. funny. Sorry, I didn't mention. That's the Hans clock joke. That's the magician. We're here, where I feed the squirrels. Feed the squirrels. I, I feed the squirrels. Feed your local animals. Your love for animals is a true testament to your heart. From whales on the beach to crows in the street, you are always so gentle and kind to all living things, including cats in the windows, to snails on the sidewalks, to little cactuses up by you. You inspire me with the way you helped heal Houdini it really is a beautiful language you speak to animals. September, New York Fashion Week, Tall Girl, the Emmys. Go to where the traffic jams, a place that leads you to the sands, a spot they filmed us for an ad, a place you photographed your dad. <laughs> to the California Incline. And would you accept this rose? Yes, I will. It's like The Bachelor, which I have never seen. Also, if you haven't seen our last you back vlogs of where we rescue and heal a pigeon which is now in my living room it'll be somewhere on the screen go watch it hi thanks for doing all this nice stuff for me of course because we deserve it we're here we're at the incline all right the next letter and clue being able to work with you on this vlog has been so amazing i used to hate videos of anything I always said, let's just stay in the moment. And I'm so glad you convinced me to do this because I can look back on so many of these memories and how beautiful you looked in all of them. <laughs> October. Catalina, pumpkin nights, I fail at dates. Luke took me, uh, in October, Halloween's my favorite holiday, I love it. Luke took me to this like pumpkin nights, which he hyped up was gonna be the best thing in the whole entire world. All the pumpkins were plastic and I could have bought them at the dollar store. Where are we? We went to some pumpkin thing. Now, granted, Luke told me that there was like, it's a pumpkin walk, and there's carved pumpkins all, they were all plastic, and I'm so sorry. this is where we are. <laughs> but it's fun, that's still one of the most memorable dates I've ever had because it was so bad. Oh, I'm glad it was one of the most memorable dates we've ever had. Here you go. Okay, oh, I got, I forgot, next part. Go to the place you pick a time so your clothes don't need a drying line. A place to write down your name and hope Sipos hasn't done the same. <laughs> to the laundry room! Sipos is my neighbor that always does laundry. Oh, I've never even seen him. I just know his name's there all the time. The laundry room. And as promised, as usual, Sipo is doing his laundry. Just, no, we're gonna uh, steam me in okay. here. Let's do it. Okay. I'll read it quick. <laughs> Take care of me. From my favorite pasta dish to making sure I use a comb and not a brush on my hair. You're always there. When I had surgery to when I was losing weight, you always cried for me and you helped me every way you could. Kirby, I don't know how to thank you. I just love you the best that I can. Fully and truly. The treasure now is in the car. Please go get inside your car. To my car? Are we driving somewhere? 
I don't have my car keys. Okay, quick stop at my house because I have to get my car keys. Now my question is, how did Luke get inside my car without me knowing? If there's something in there, I'm gonna be shocked. Perhaps we're driving somewhere. Beep beep to my car. Car. Where are we going? 10 out of 10, a 12 out of 12 10. 12 out of 12 out of 12, because it's still gross. It's incredible, this is so thoughtful and sweet. I can't wait to like reread these cards or again. you can have them whenever you want. They can go in your birthday box. A specific slot in the birthday box for this, because I knew I was doing this. I would also like to, I'm gonna tell them when we get inside, so okay. I was directed to turn on the camera. All right, so why don't you put the camera on the dash? Okay. Okay, and conveniently, you have been wearing that thing around your neck. We need to put it over your eyes. Okay. What, what were you gonna do if I didn't wear I something? I was gonna like have that? a bandana. Oh, bless you. Hi, Jinx with Luke. Okay, camera's gonna fall on this. I got it. Okay, this is so fun. I'm nervous. You need a minute, huh? Yeah, so we could do some smooching. <laughs> huh? All right, okay. Now I'm just gonna keep the car here for a second. I grab something from my car, which is parked at your place. Don't move. Did you turn the camera off? No, you keep talking. What am I gonna say? Whatever you'd like. Okay. So, yeah. I could tell. Should I unblindfold myself? I don't know. I guess. Oh, he's looking at me. Don't okay. Don't stop, Kirby. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't allowed to unblindfold myself. I was just making sure I was going to be in whatever frame. Um. So he seemed really happy. What a good boyfriend. I don't really know where we could be going in the car. All right. So now Kirby's blindfolded. She's no idea. Okay, here we go. Yes, well you put something in the back of the car, so the present is already here. I don't know where we could be going now. You're the present, kiddo. It's so fun to do do fun stuff to surprise you. I, keep I always camera's gonna it's fall. It's not gonna fall. I always think everyone does such big elaborate things for proposals and it's like why do you only get to do one of those? You should be doing elaborate stuff all the time. Me. Right? Right. Because everyone expects some elaborate for like that kind of thing, but nah. Tell bits about the little stuff. Do you, you had no idea that you were going to scavenge hunt? None. I had no idea. Hey. Oh god, I'm sleepy. Is your seatbelt on? It's not. Put your seatbelt on. Alright, so <laughs> Kirby's blindfolded. We're He's directed her. me out of the car. We're by her favorite street, which is where she wants to live when she grows up. When she grows up. <laughs> <laughs> it's her dream, right? Which is where she wants to live. Of her dream house. So we're gonna do something special. Come here, come here. Oh, yeah, come here, Kirby. I got you. I'm just hold on to me. Hold yeah. on. My headphone is coming. I don't know why I call this my headphone. All right, now just walking, going uphill. You're oh, it's a little bit of dirt. Just keep going straight. I'm scared. Wait, don't be scared. I'm like Nothing's gonna happen. I'm even ground. I have high heels. Is on. Okay. You look great. We're just around oh, a tree. We're going downhill. Yep, we're going downhill a little bit. Just, right, just hold on. Just hold on me after. Oh Jesus. Okay, now we're on sand. Okay. Okay. Scary movie almost. <laughs> Still fun though, huh? Yes. <laughs> Come on. Close. We're on we're on a table. pavement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the ocean? Yes. Okay. I'm so confused. Now stay still. Me? Okay. Okay. Take off the baffle. I'm blind. I'm literally blind. Hey, it's Luke. Okay, so don't hate me, but I may or may not have been so excited that I accidentally hit stop recording instead of start recording. So I don't have a clip of her initial reaction. But I took out the last card and had to read it. It said, we don't have a memory here yet. Then I took the covering off the gift and it was a cactus with gloves, a shovel and sharpie markers with a promise note that said, we can watch our love and this cactus grow here until we move onto the street and have a house of our own. I said we can use a Sharpie to make it our own and we can walk and visit the cactus every morning. 
And when one of us does a travel for work, the other one can visit the cactus. <laughs> she really is the best. Who wouldn't love her? I definitely, definitely do. All right, so what, do you, what color do you want, Kirby? Do you want? Oh, don't have the cactus. Come on, the cactus. Do you want green, blue, red, or black? So what do you want to draw? I'm going to do, uh, let's see. What do you call me? Boyfriend. Boyfriend. Cute. Okay, hold. All right, so we're, we're digging a hole now. People are going to think we're burying it. A, a corpse out here. Oh, Do you want my help? Is there another shovel? Show me your gloves. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Don't fall off the cliff. Yeah, boy. Do the handy work. Okay, we've dug the hole. By we, I mean my boyfriend. Now we're putting the cactus in. Good job. Woo. Thank you for planting a cactus for me. Well, there's our cactus that's growing. Honey, thank you. See you when we live on <laughs> later. There he is. What? You almost forgot. Your last rose. I don't need a rose, I have a whole cactus. That was an absolutely incredible, um, well thought out scavenger hunt surprise, really sentimental gift from my lovely boyfriend. Like, like comment, comment, subscribe, subscribe. call your mom.